be cooking up bubble and squeak today. Now bubble and squeak is a great dish you can cook up and use all those leftovers. So, you know, when you've got your Sunday roast or Christmas dinner and you've got all those vegetables and a bit of mashed potato, you're not sure what to do with them, perfect for bubble and squeak. Now to make this bubble and squeak, obviously it depends on what leftovers you've got. Now, I've just unwrapped mine, I've had those in the fridge. These are actually cooked a day or so ago. And I did cook a little bit extra because I knew I was going to be making bubble and squeak. So there's my leftovers, mashed potato, I've got some Brussels sprouts, some cabbage and carrot. Now if you wanted to, you could add a bit of gammon, I've got a bit of gammon there. But what I'm going to add into mine is I'm going to fry up an onion, some bacon, just to give it a nice, really nice flavour. Add a little bit of parmesan in the mix and just mix all this together and we're going to fry it up, really be delicious. Now I've also got some sausages there. The reason I've got those, because I'm going to put those in the pan, fry them up at the same time as the bubble and squeak, because it will give the coating a beautiful flavour. So there's all my ingredients. Obviously make it up with whatever ingredients you've got. If you haven't quite got enough, then obviously you can add a little bit of extra vegetables, whatever you want. The main sort of ingredients are usually like cabbage, potato, the carrots and the Brussels sprouts. The sort of things I've got there really, but do it with whatever you've got and I'm sure it will taste good. Now the first thing I want to do is I just want to sort of cut my cabbage down a little bit more and chop the sort of Brussels sprouts and you know I might just crush the sort of carrots just to make them a little bit sort of finer and then I'm going to get myself a bowl and just mix these two together you know the mashed potato and the vegetables. I mean, I'd say as a rule of thumb, maybe the same amount of vegetables as there are mashed potatoes, so it's a good blend. And then I'm just going to put the mash in. It's obviously just come out of the fridge, so we'll have to kind of work that. You can either use your hands or a fork or whatever. Now before I do that, I'm just going to put a little bit of seasoning. I mean obviously you might have already seasoned your vegetables and stuff, so I don't know how to do it. Now we just want to kind of mix this up a little bit just to get it a little bit blended and then I'm going to fry up the bacon with the onions and we're going to add that into the mix as well. So I'm just going to you know, do it until it's all nicely mixed up. Now what I'm going to do is go over to the hob get myself a frying pan and we're going to fry up the onions and then we're going to put the bacon in so get those cooking once they're all fried up we're going to add them into this mix and it will just give it a lovely flavour now I've got my frying pan there now I've chosen to use a fairly large pan because not only am I going to cook the bubble and squeak but I'm also going to put my sausages in there later on so you get all the flavours from the sausages so try and use a reasonable size pan and we're just going to use the same pan all the way through. Now to the frying pan I'm going to add some olive oil but if you haven't got olive oil you can use any oil you've got. Put it on a medium heat and then we're just going to fry up and soften the onions and make sure you cook the bacon. So let's put the oil in there, switch it on, medium heat and get it all cooking. So first of all I'm just going to grab me olive oil but you know if you haven't got olive oil use whatever you've got really. I'm going to use a little bit, a reasonable amount actually. I'm just going to switch the heat on. So you do that on a sort of medium heat. Now it's warmed up slightly. I'm just going to add the onions in there. Just going to get those quick mix around, get them in the oil. Then I'm going to just make a little place in the centre and we can put the bacon in there. Then just tip the bacon in. Separate that, give it a bit of a toss around and just try and, you know, get a little bit of colour on the bacon. Not too much, but just a little bit. Make sure it's cooked. And again, with the onions, just soften them down. 
In a minute, I'm just going to sort of swoosh them all together, really, mix them up. I mean, obviously, this is my own little kind of twist on the, the bubble and squeak, adding in the onions and the bacon. So you can kind of skip this stage if you just want to do it your own way, but I think it gives a really lovely flavour, and obviously it flaves up the oil as well. That's it. I'll give it the final mix up now. I mean, we're we're nearly the five minute stage, so we don't need to cook much more than this really. It's only if you want to get a bit more colour on the bacon. But I think this is good. So I'm going to switch that off the heat, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little sort of colander, and I'm just going to try and get all the oil out of here so that we've got a dry mixture going into the, the potato mix. Now I'm just going to tip everything through there and just let the oil kind of drip its way through. Because I want to put a fairly, well, I say dry mixture, I don't want loads of oil going into the mix. So I'll just put that all in there, get it in there very carefully and just wait until all the oil's gone in, into the bowl. So I've got me mixture in that calendar. Look at that. I think I've got most of the oil out. Not all of it, but a little bit doesn't hurt. Now I'm going to keep that oil because I'm going to put it back in the pan in a short while. Now I'm just going to go over to the sort of mixture we've got for making the bubble and squeak. I'm just going to add this onion and bacon into the mix and oh, it's going to really add a delicious flavour. I'm just really going to tip that in. And again, just give that a little bit of a mix up, get it all stirred up. So I've just been mixing that very roughly for a minute really, try and get it all sort of mixed up. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of parmesan to mine, so, I mean, you know, you haven't got to add cheese or parmesan. I'm just going to add a little bit because I think it will go really nice. I mean, obviously, you know, traditionally they wouldn't have used bacon or onions or, you know, maybe the parmesan, but... I just quite fancy it. I think it will go nice. So put that in there. Wow, that's good. Now also, I've got some gammon. This sort of, I've actually done a video for the gammon, and these are just like some bits left over. So I'm just going to add those in as well. Nice flavour the gammon. Now again, just give it a quick mix. Once you've mixed it up, then you need to taste it to make sure it's got enough salt and pepper. Now I've just had a little bit of gammon, which is a little bit salty in itself. So, you know, kind of balance it all because again, the bacon's got a bit of salt. So hopefully we shouldn't need to add anything to this, but let's give it a quick mix and a quick taste. You know this is gonna be good. There's so many nice flavors in this bowl, it's unbelievable. Bacon, onion, all the vegetables, the mash, the parmesan. Oh, it's going to be good. Now, I'm just going to try and taste a bit of the mixture. It's all cooked in this bowl, so don't worry. Just try some of that. Cold, but... I think I could live with it, the salt. You know, haven't got to add any more. I might just add a little bit of black pepper. Only for my own taste. So I've got my bubble and squeak mixture all ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is go over to the frying pan and give myself a plate, a little bit of flour, season out with salt and pepper and make this sort of bubble and squeak into little pâtés. And then we're going to dip it in the flour Throw it up in the frying pan and make them really delicious. Now first of all, just put some butter in there and just tip the oil in really. Now I've got the flour there, I'm just going to give a bit of seasoning on that. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper. I mean obviously do all these sort of things to taste but I think you've got to season things right to make them really tasty. Again, I'm just going to switch this on. I say do this on a medium heat all the way through, really. Give that a quick mix. It's going to be a good base. It's going to be flavour. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Now, I'm going to now make up one of these pâtés. So, 
just going to grab a handful really and so you can make it up how you like little fish coats it's up to you okay. dip it in a bit of flour Carry on doing that, grab a mixture, and just do them how you like. I find the pâtés, like you know, these sort of fish cake sort of shape, really good because it's easier to flip over. So again, put this one in a bit of flour, roll it over. And just put it in. Now I'm going to put these sausages in. Now when you're cooking your bum and squeak, don't move it around too much. At the moment, I've just been cooking it, left it on the one side there, and really we've been cooking for about eight minutes or so. So I'm just turning the sausages around. Ooh, looking good. Turn those over. I'm going to leave the bubble and squeak because I really want to build up some colour. So I've been cooking for about 10 minutes. I've turned the sausages over. So let's turn over these bubble and squeak cake. Now be careful, you don't want to damage them too much. And this is where it can all go horribly wrong. It's got a nice crust on it. Now it's going to go around the other side. Then be really careful with them. Don't want to damage them. Look at that. Now it's probably a good time just to move mine a little bit over to the edge. And I'm just going to Kind of flatten these out a little bit as well, make them a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good. And again, just turn these sausages round. Look at the colour on those. Beautiful. Oh, that is good. I'm going to try and flip over these bubble and squeak cakes. So I've now been cooking for about 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is take the sausages out of the pan, switch the heat off, and serve up this bubble and squeak. This bubble and squeak is going to be absolutely scrummy. Now we'll say, oh, hot. Mmm. Couple of sausages. Now obviously you could use a little bit of that gammon, really to make it tasty. I've got a fairly soft egg here. Whoa, look at that. Let's try some of this bubble and squeak. Because that's what this video is all about, bubble and squeak. Let me try some of this. Mm. Sounds crispy on the outside, if you listen carefully. Mm. That has got some lovely flavour. Lovely. Try a bit more of that. I could eat it. I could really eat this on its own. It's so nice. Mm. Let me try that. Mm. Mm. That is delicious. Well, that sort of cabbage, Brussels sprouts. Even if you don't like cabbage and Brussels sprouts, I think you'd really enjoy this. It is delicious. Now, let's have a look at this egg. You know what's going to happen when I press that. It's just going to be soft and beautiful. Oh my, that is just, oh, let's try that. 
got the big gammon, the bacon. Mm. That is heavenly. Heavenly! Really, to make such a lovely meal out of all the leftovers, have a look around and you can really make something good. I mean, look at that. is so nice. There's so many beautiful flavours in there. Thanks for watching my videos right to the end. I hope they've made you hungry. Mm. Oh, I love it. Thanks for watching the original Naked Chef and Happy New Year.